first, third, then sixth and the last eight. So these are the transactions which is showing less and all the less items I have added in your second step. The amount will be 27,700 and the total as what did I tell? Net profit as per FA. Add. If I am writing as add, I am going to add it. And it is going to be 92,200 rupees. How much? 92,200 rupees. Next, less. What did I tell? Less should be added. I mean, less should be added. More should be deducted. So, what are all the transactions that you have more? All the more transactions you are writing under less. Right? So, first more transaction is bank interest credited in FA. Bank interest credited in FA. It is going to be 250. Next, depreciation. What did I tell? Depreciation. It is recovered in excess in costing books. So, what you are going to write? Depreciation. Just mention it as depreciation. Write the difference among 6000 minus 5600. Okay. How much will be the difference? 400. So, I am writing 400 here. I hope you understood. Under analysis table, I have merged two depreciation into one transaction. In FA, depreciation is 5600. In CA, it is 6000. So, obviously, we have a difference. So, I am writing only the difference amount. Next, next more transaction is administration overhead. Administration overhead. So, administration overhead, its amount is 850. Right? And next, more transaction is Interest on investment. Interest on investment. Interest on investment amount is 4000 rupees. See, I can definitely understand your difficulty. Basically, you do one thing. After your first step, you pause the video. Write down all the first step and you keep repeating about the analysis table. After writing your first step, then follow my second step. Please don't continuously follow the video. Do it stepwise. First step, you pause it, you write your notes of your first step, then proceed for your second step. So that you will be able to connect your first step with the second step. Next, stores adjustment. Stores adjustment. How much is the amount? It is 240. So, all the more transactions I have taken under less. And therefore, what would be the total? The total would be 5740 rupees. How much? 5740. I have totaled this. Here also I have totaled all these four transactions. So, if I am doing less, what is the operation? Minus. Add will be plus. Less will be minus. So, this will be your end result. Your end result will be net profit as per cost accounts. What will be your end result? Net profit as per cost accounts. Because first you have taken net profit as per financial account. So what will be the end result? Net profit as per cost accounts. If you are taking net profit as per CA, what will be the end result? Net profit as per FA. So net profit as per FA will be giving you end result of net profit as per CA. So I write it here. I will write the figure here. But again I am going to repeat the same. 86,460. If you check in your question. You can again check your question. In your question. Cost book however showed a net profit of 86,460. Have you got the same answer? Have we got the same answer? Yes. If we are getting the same answer, then our analysis and problem is correct. If we get different answer, then we are wrong in our solution. 
So please make sure that you are going to do it in a right way and you will be able to identify whether your answer is right or wrong by looking into your, into your end answer. Both of these will be specified in your question only. If you are taking one profit as your base, the end result should be the other profit. So therefore, you will be knowing your answer then and there itself. So this is your result. Net profit as per CA will be 86,416 rupees. I hope you are able to understand this particular problem. Right? So what will be your third step? Your third step will be memorandum reconciliation account. And I repeat, when you are adding, when you are adding, as per your ledger account, in your ledger account, all the R transaction will be credited, all the less transaction will be debited. You know that. Whatever the income or add items that you have written in your memorandum reconciliation statement, I repeat, in your second step, whatever you have added, you are writing it under credit side. Whatever you have lessened, that will be written on the debit side. So therefore, first step, more, less, more, less. Whatever the items that you have taken under more is being lessened. Whatever the items that you have taken as less, it is being added. So with that, you are done with the second step. So in the second step, whatever you have added, credit it. Whatever you have lessened, debit it. Add credit, less debit. Add credit, less debit. And you know what is ledger account format. The same ledger account format is carried forward for your third step. So we are going to the third step that is called as memorandum reconciliation account. Statement will be in this format. But account will be in your ledger account format. But that is not exactly the ledger account. But for your reference, I am just considering it as ledger account. Right? So your third step will be memorandum reconciliation account. What is your third step? Memorandum reconciliation account. So as far as ledger accounts are concerned, you will have how many columns? Four columns. One is particulars amount, particulars amount. And you will have two sides, debit side and credit side. What are the two sides? Debit side and credit side. One is you will have particulars amount particulars amount right so you have how many columns four columns one is particulars amount particulars amount and you will have debit side and credit side now just go to your second step in second step whatever you have deducted less that I am going to write it under debit side Whatever you have added, I am writing that under credit side. Now, as you all know, every debit transaction will start with the term 2. Every credit transaction will start with the term buy. Needless to say for you people, right? So buy, what is your first item? Net profit as per FA. Net profit as per FA. How much is net profit? 64,000. 500. Next, you are writing all the add items in the credit side. All the add items in the credit side. So, by you just copy paste the transactions. Please don't worry nothing about it. Right? By income tax provided. By income tax provided. How much is the amount? 20,000. By income tax provided. 20,000. By works overhead. Repeat the same transaction. Just I'm just copying and pasting the same. 1550. Then by loss due to obsolescence. Loss due to obsolescence. That is nothing but 2800. Next by loss due to depreciation. Whatever I'm doing is I'm doing it in a mechanical way. Please pause your second step. Write all the second step problems solution. 
and then move on to your third step. In the second step, whatever I have written under add, I am writing it in the credit side. That's all I am doing. I am doing nothing here. So your third step is just mechanical. Are you able to understand? So loss due to depreciation, it is 3,350. I have included net profit and all the add items on the credit side. Now I am going to include all the less items on the debit side. So to bank interest, to bank interest, it is 250. To depreciation, 400. To administration overheads, 850. To interest on investment, to interest on investment, it is 4000. To stores adjustment, to stores adjustment, it is 240. Right? And now I am writing net profit as per CA here. Because I have written net profit as per FA on the credit side. So I am writing net profit as per CA on the debit side. And it is amounted to 86,460. 86,460. And both these sides will tally. If you add both the sides will tally and the amount will be 92,200. The amount will be 92,200. Please make sure that your third step is just a mechanical step where you are creating a ledger account format. That is memorandum reconciliation account. And in the ledger format, you are writing columns. Particular amount, particular amount. And you will be mentioning debit and credit side. All the debit side will start from two. All the credit side will start by, start from by, right? And all the add items, the first item, net profit as per FA, and all the add items, I have credited. All the less item and the end result, end result of the second step, I have debited. When I'm doing that, both these sides must and should tally. And it will get tagged. And I hope with this you are able to understand your first problem. Your first problem in that I have told you three steps. The first step is analysis step. Second one is memorandum reconciliation statement. Third one is memorandum reconciliation account. So in the first step, with the help of first step, you will do the second. With the help of second step, you are going to do the third step. Please make sure that you are going to pause under every step. Write down whatever I have mentioned. After that, do the next step. I am sure you will be able to understand. And please feel free to provide your feedback after looking into this particular lecture. Thank you.